back to the luggage chronicle it's going from point a to point b and try to either walk take public transport and avoid the taxis and the ubers the reason i do that is because even if it takes me 40 minutes an hour an hour and a half to walk and hike up from one location to the next is that i get to get into the inner city and i really get to experience things that would be otherwise missed if you're on public transportation or private transportation so great example is this i don't know the name of this particular area but i'll briefly show you what it is that where it's located here in switzerland but as you can see it is graffiti city and it's just an amazing amazing place i mean it's immersed you get into a completely different vibe and if you're like i said in a bus or anything else you would miss this now it looks a little scary and a little sketchy if you're by yourself you know take precautions obviously you don't want to get into a location where you don't know and you might offend somebody so be cautious about that but take a look at this beautiful artwork that is plastered throughout the entire place just wonderful wonderful pieces of art that have been done by hand by graffiti artists all throughout this entire section all these are apartment buildings where you have people living here and this is what they get to wake up to every single day there seems to be off there, but I mean, how cool is this? And again, if you're in a bus or on the train or even on a taxi, you're gonna miss all of this. Now, one of the things that I can tell you that I saw earlier is that there was a, right up this alley here, there is just things that lead me to believe that perhaps somebody less fortunate like a homeless person or homeless individuals um, come and camp out here I don't know for a fact it's just it led me to believe that but again check this out this is what the luggage chronicles is all about first-time travelers seeking adventure a first time traveler's guide to adventure right here. Look at all this wonderful, wonderful artwork. So again, if you're brave enough and you're confident enough to come in and walk through these places, I encourage you to do so. Come in with an open mind. Don't just think that you're gonna get into some kind of trouble because that negativity that those thoughts bring usually brings the trouble within itself. So come and enjoy it. See what this is all about and really see what the artists are trying to portray in each one of these pieces that you see right here. Give them the respect that they deserve and also look at it, look at it as what they are, which is art. So. Earlier, there was two beautiful girls here just taking pictures in this location. We're just here by some people, so I'll be uploading some pictures with them. We got a chance to talk a little bit, at least trying to communicate with whatever broken English they had and whatever poor French that I have. <laughs> but again, it's just about you coming out and seeking the adventure of the travel and experiencing the, the, experiencing the location for what it is, not just for what historically is here or what culturally is here, meaning by what's on the textbooks, just come out and really live what it is that they have to offer, which is something outside of the book. You have to be willing to go outside of the box, go outside of the main trails and run yourselves in these locations. So stick around, stay tuned. We'll get you guys some more throughout this entire trip. I really appreciate again, everybody who subscribed to the channel and those that you know that would enjoy these types of videos, please let them know to follow the link and subscribe. Thank you and we'll catch with you guys soon.